So welcome. Uh, we're here at MIT. This has been an exciting week. Kaspersky uh, startup uh, competition is here. Uh, we're not usually, we don't actually see this level of polished in teams uh, because most of the teams that we see are students. And so they are much earlier on in the competition or in the evol evolution. Uh, so these are real teams. They've been at it for a while. Uh, and they have real products, and they've been out there in the market and, as well. So they've sort of uh, zeroed in on what their value proposition is. So it's exciting to have them here. Uh, th this particular startup uh, is ZeroDB, uh, and they're working on the security uh, when it comes on the database side. This is certainly something that many teams are looking at, uh, and I think they have a very strong idea. So if you can please uh, describe uh, your, your idea. Yeah, so basically what ZeroDB is, it's an end-to-end -end encrypted database that lets you operate on data while it's encrypted. Uh, so we're pushing sort of all the query logic, encryption, and decryption to the client and turning the, for the database server into very sort of a simple data store. It doesn't really know anything about the data that's the storing um, or really the associated keys mm -hmm. or the structure or, or order of the data. Great. So would you uh, describe for me uh, a typical use case and where uh, the current offerings that exist in the market right now don't meet what you're offering. And I think there is, is it's a great, uh, yeah. Sure, so there's a couple of spaces. Um, one is for application developers, so mm -hmm. people who want to build end-to-end -end encrypted applications yeah. um, and provide yeah. basically stronger security and privacy mm -hmm. guarantees to their users. Uh, so we see a lot of people in sort of the health tech, fintech, legal tech space mm -hmm. that are basically using ZeroDB in the same way that they would use um, like Mongo or Postgres or MySQL, um, starting a new project. Um, and they can build it so that it's basically encrypted end-to-end -end from the ground up. Um, and so now they can say to their users, hey, like, even we as a service provider, we couldn't look at your private health information, your private right. uh, customer data, or whatever the case may be. Um, and of course, neither can a bad actor or a hacker. That's a great use case. And, and I think if you can get that simplicity you know, of using, say, a Firebase or something like this, but with the <laughs> added security, I think you have a big, big winner. And certainly in uh, healthcare and many others, uh, even here around MIT, it gets more and more difficult because every grant comes with HIPAA regulations and many other uh, that we simply don't have, uh, you know, the infrastructure. So if we can start to use services like this, uh, you know, certainly we could benefit. And I know that, you know, the, the storm of people out there creating applications could as well. So. Um, I think you have uh, you have a great you great a great idea there. Yeah. Also, we see quite a bit of traction with uh, large enterprises. Okay. Uh, so they uh, their idea is that they want to start using uh, cloud applications, mm -hmm. but uh, some some of them, especially like financial institutions, they are they don't really want to move to the cloud yet because uh, they don't trust uh, the cloud, they, do, they want to manage their security by themselves. Uh, so, uh, so what they want is uh, they want to manage uh, the keys, the encryption, everything, uh, everything by themselves and they want to outsource only you know, data storage and uh, uh, basically, building, uh, basically building applications. So they don't want, want to build applications in-house, uh, manage servers, stuff like that, but they do want to manage security by themselves. And at the moment, uh, it's, uh, uh, there are very limited possibilities to do that. And we, uh, we really can help, uh, we can help cloud application providers to build applications uh, like to, uh, like in line with these requirements. And also we can actually help enterprises to uh, protect uh, their applications as well. No, that's great because you get the convenience of the cloud without the risk, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. so you basically outsource your infrastructure right. without outsourcing your right. security. Yeah. Exactly. So today you push your data up into AWS yeah. or Azure or whatever cloud service provider and sort of by definition you're giving up some degree of control yeah. over that data. Yeah. Um, whereas with ZeroDB, you keep the keys on premise or you know, whatever your key manager system and you don't have to make that sense. It's a big deal that you actually are holding the keys. Mm -hmm. So, uh, great idea, guys. Uh, do you want to say your uh, website so that people can look you up? Sure, we are zerodb.io. Um, you can go check us out and take a look around. Great. So, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>